Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, and in this video, I will show you my approach to implement terrain tree chopping. Well, for this tutorial, I create an empty ERP project and import a two free assets, just for example. Of course, you probably already have your own project, so you're not needed to import those assets. The first asset is an example of environment with terrain, and terrain trees what we really need. The second one is an FPS. After that, I go into URP terrain demo scene and disable non-needed objects. Now, I need to drag a FPS player controller to my scene. Of course, also, I need to perform some scene preparations with those assets which are unnecessary for tutorial point. Now I'm going to separate terrain and trees layers. It's need to simplify raycasting a trees to be sure that we cast tree and nothing other on the terrain for example, rocks, brushes and etc. I set the ground layer for the terrain and trees layer for all tree prefab which spawned on the terrain with whom I will interact. And in the terrain settings, I need to specify to use separate layers for trees. Well, now I need to go to the player controller and add a raycasting behavior. In update method, on the bottom, I get an actual camera position. Define a direction to the forward of the player. After that, I need to define a layer mask to cast only trees layer. And finally check that we cast something on this layer. As a result, we will write a log info. Let's check that it works. It's working as well, we got a messages so we successfully cast a tree. I created a tree data class which contains a data about tree on the scene. It's include trees world position, references to the terrain tree instance and tree prototype. Also, a tree amount. The last one specify how exactly tree amount contains a concrete tree instance. Tree manager, it's a class which manages a tree's data on the scene. It's a singleton which mean that we have only one instance of this class in same time. Load trees data method getting tree instances from the terrain and, and collect information about in this place we perform a calculations of tree in world position and rotation and initially set a tree amount for each tree instance. Get closest tree methods returns a closest tree to the provided position. We need this method to get a tree data from hit position when player chopping. To decide which tree is closest, I just calculate a distance of each tree regarding a provided position. Now back to player controller and add check that we got a mouse click left button down. In this case, we ask a tree manager to give us a closest tree from the hit position. Now, we define that one player hit decreases a 10 points of tree. This parameter you can tune as you want it related with your game parameters. For example, different axes or some skills can change this parameter. Also need to add terrain manager component on the terrain object and set an initial size for tree amount. For my example is a 100. And as we can see the tree amount is decreasing. You can doing something with tree amount regardless with your game, like put it into inventory or something like that. 
the last part, what I will do is a dropping a tree when tree amount becomes a zero. So I added a new method destroy tree and just replace a terrain tree with a tree object on the scene. That's all. Now let's check that it's working. Thanks for watching and see you 